सो गाइज दिस इज आवर आरजीबी मॉड्यूल सी इट इज वर्किंग लाइक अ चार्म रेड ग्रीन ब्लू रेड ग्रीन ब्लू आफ्टर हाफ अ सेकेंड दिस इज द आरडीनो ऊनो लेट मी शो यू द कोड हाउ इट्स वर्किंग सो दिस ओवर हेयर इज आवर कोड नाउ यू गो अप here you can see that we initialize the three pins 8 9 and 10 and then the initially we turn them low that initially all the leds are off by default and then the red led that is pin number 8 goes high for half a second then it goes low and the ninth led connected to pin number 9 goes high that is our green and then the green goes low then the blue turns high and then the blue goes low and it repeats all over again that's all guys this coding gives us this result so guys this over here is our hardware this is our arduino uno and this is the led module as you can see it is same as shown in the presentation and the wiring is also done in the same way now let's connect the arduino uno to the pc okay it's connected to the pc now let's move on to our arduino to start writing the code now let me zoom in so you guys can see better okay click on file new sketch okay wait for the window to pop up okay this window is popping up okay it's opened so this is by default syntax press control s before you do anything else save your work press control s now write the name rgb module tutorial by learning microcontroller so that's the name i wrote you can write any name you want okay now this window has popped up let me close the previous window okay now guys as you know let's go back to the presentation in the presentation you can see that okay let me okay in the presentation you can see that we use three pins that is 8 9 and 10 pin 8 is red green blue 8 9 10 so we go back to our programming window we write a comment here so we should not forget it okay 8 9 10 R G B like this. Let's confirm it. So we should not make a mistake here. Okay, pin eight is red, nine is green, ten is blue. So let's go back to the programming. Okay, eight, nine, ten, red, green, blue. Okay, that's perfect. Now what we do is that we initialize these three pins. Now to initialize these three pins, what you need to do is that you write a command here called pin mode. Pin number eight, turn. output like this now this command pin mode will make sure that pin number 8 is an output pin for an led you need an output pin if it was a button i was to write input now do it for the rest of the two leds this is for the green led and this is for the blue led now for the green part it's pin number 9 and for the uh, blue part it is connected to the pin number 10 like this now the leds are led pins are initialized as output now we need to give the initial state now what should happen initially when the code runs in the one time loop now by default the leds must be off that's what common sense says i write digital right what i should write pin number 8 as low now this command digital right is there to give the uh, led status high or low so by default the green that is our i write red green and this is the blue led so whenever we will turn this pin high it will uh, make the rgb led to become red when this pin is high it will be green and when this will be high it will be blue now digital write low initial state of the red pin initial state of the blue pin sorry green pin and now the initial state of the blue pin low so all three LEDs will be off by default. That the module will be off by default. Simple as that. Now we go to our forever loop. We change the initial state. Now these are the initial state. Initially LEDs are off. Module is showing nothing. Now we turn the red LED on. I make this LED pin eight high, like this. Now it's high. Now for how long it should remain on? For like half a second will do fine. I make it 500 millisecond. Now after that. it will turn off after staying uh, staying red for 500 millisecond it turns off goes back to the initial state that is low and then the uh, green part turns on now it will become green for how long for 500 milliseconds like this now guys again the green part will also go back to the initial state that is 
of low and the blue part will become high that that is the rgb led will become blue and for how long 500 milliseconds now again after staying on for 500 millisecond now the blue part will also turn off it will go low or it will go back to the initial state that is the initial state it is low now again it will start all over again now again the red part is high now again the green part is high for half a millisecond half second and then again the green uh, blue part is high so red green and blue turn by turn for half a second now i build this code to see if it works fine or not i click on tick okay done compiling without error now we build it okay it's uploading okay it's uploaded so let's go to the hardware and see does it works or not so you can see that it is working like a charm so that is what we just wanted guys we just wanted this so that is what we wanted and we are getting what we wanted see that it is working like a charm red green and blue half of a second so i will give you the code you can change the delay you can play with the code so in this way you can use this module to do various tasks using an arduino so guys this is it thank you very much for your time we'll see you in the next video hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how we can use an rgb red green blue led module with an arduino uno so let's get started so guys this is an led module and this is also the same led module it comes in two configuration one having an smd led one having a pinhole led so whichever you have it have exactly the same wirings so let me label the right one for you you can see the b is written on the board as well on the left that is blue green red and ground simple as that now guys this is our keys rgb module now i again label it for you the pin if you hold it like this the left mouse pin is a blue then we have green then we have red and ground pin now guys uh, let's connect it with an our arduino uno you connect the ground pin directly with your with the ground of your arduino uno like this now for the red pin you can use any available digital input output pin of the pin of the of your arduino and the good thing is you do not need a resistor here because on the module you can see that you already have the safety resistor so you can directly connect a pin with your arduino for the red i'm going to use the pin number eight you can use any available digital input output pin of your arduino uno for the leds for the green that is g i connected to the pin number nine with the blue eye connected to the pin number 10 simple as that in this way our rgb module is connected now guys let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming